Hi, I'm Miriam from Fun FTC, and I'm here with Team 19818 Jade Innovations here at the Chesapeake Championship. This team is one of the few teams I've seen with a turret bot so far, and let's check out their entire robot coming up on Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, so can you please start us off talking a little bit about your uh, turret? Yeah, so um, our turret this season has gone through like three iterations so far, but like right now it, um, it has like the base big bearing, right? And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a smaller like internal bearing on the inside. And in addition, it's like driven by a worm gear. So it's not back drivable, which makes it like really stable. All right. And then can you talk about like what is on your turret? So like maybe your claw? So on our turret, we have our deposit mechanism. So we have our um, pivot right here. The pivot, the pivot, yeah. yeah, and then we have uh, uh, three sets of uh, cascading uh, viper slides right there. And then on the, wait, keep it. So on this, we have our uh, claw right here. And then we also have our uh, belt dispenser, uh, which um, can deposit the purple pixel during auto. Yeah, so I'm just curious, how many degrees of freedom are on that turret? Um... Yeah, so in total, we have uh, four degrees of freedom, like if you include the turret itself. So we have the turret, uh, we call this one the pitch control, like the, yeah, this one. Uh, we have a wrist here, which helps us align with the backdrop when scoring, and we also have our extension. All right, great. And now, uh, so did th this did this go for any iterations to get working? Because it all seems very complicated. Uh, we went through many iterations for our robot. For example, we went through many turret iterations where we started with a axial bearing and then we combined it with this uh, metal ball bearing plate with the axial bearing. We also went through many claw iterations because we have a unique configurable claw, claw with uh, multiple layers. So, oh, I can't open it. Uh, so, for example, we went through different iterations where we added this uh, flexible uh, block on top that keeps the pixels from falling off. Um, and we also changed how we configure the layers so these layers allow us to pick up pixels um, based on however we want uh, to align this. So if we add this extension here, then we can pick up two, then one, then two. And if we remove it, then we pick up one, then two, and two. And this allows us a lot of flexibility during autonomous and during teleop. All right, great. And then I'm sure, like, do you also like do anything during uh, Endgame that you haven't talked about yet? We have a hang mechanism, and we also have a drone. So we just have, like, a... Uh, like a state for this, it turns the turret and then puts our uh, bar up. Yeah, so our drone has like, um, it's like basically completely 3D printed. Um, kind of hard to see, but you load it like this. Um, um, and so this hood here, it clips onto the drone, so like it definitely it just like does not fall out before end game. Um, I think it gets like pretty consistent zone zone two zone one. Okay, great. And I'm sure equally as impressive as your mechanical is your software. So can you talk about it? Oh, yeah, sure. So um, something unique about our software is probably um, in our camera. Uh, we use uh, something called YCBCR, uh, and it okay, separates um, color and light and makes it very, uh, like, it makes it uh, function properly under different lighting conditions. Uh, we also have a distance sensor. We have a pair of distance sensors. Basically, it, we have an algorithm that like um, it align. It basically, it prevents the robot from going too close to the backboard and descoring the pixels. Um, we also have a. We also have like a like over thirty different autonomous modes because like you know alliances can be very unpredictable, so we don't want to conflict with them. Uh, and is that about it? Yeah. So, with thirty different autonomous modes, uh, that's a lot. So, is there anything you do to like? 
help your drivers select. Um, well, I'm kind of the coach, so I kind of help them select. But yeah, we, we basically we uh, we code every um, we code every single autonomous name with like for example BNGW, so we would know the name ahead of time. So All we right. just find BNGW on the list, and then we select it. Okay, so team one nine eight one eight. Thank you so much for your time and good luck today. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.